Welcome back for lesson four on training your brain without technology. So in this lesson, I'm going to tell you how to use your own mind and body, mostly mind, to be able to bring your brain out of these extreme modes and to pop up that perfect processing speed in the middle. And I already gave you the neural mechanisms behind it. But in this lesson, I'm going to share with you five types of meditation and they might not all be for you i'd like you to choose you can try them but i'd like you to choose at least one that feels good to you and start using it on a daily basis now what the meditation sciences show us and i've adapted it a little to make it easy to remember is that when you train your brain using meditation you can start with three minutes and then build up to 13 minutes and then build up to 23 minutes. Science shows at three minutes, if you are successful in getting into a meditative state, it creates a brain reset. So if you're in your car between appointments, you can take three minutes in silence and solitude to reset the way your brain is using energy, bring it down out of this pattern, pop it up, and change your electromagnetic field. It can be done, science shows it, three minutes. Then when you become more skilled, you can increase minute by minute, don't jump, minute by minute using scaffolding. It's called, put scaffolding on the building and go from three minutes to four and go from the fourth floor to the fifth floor and then build the sixth floor, moving up to 13 minutes. At 13 minutes, what the science shows is that on top of resetting your brain, it also extends out to your glandular and organ system and your peripheral nervous system for greater change. Totally awesome. Then when you've become successful at the 13 minute meditation, then you can increase it again with the scaffolding, floor 13 to 14 to 15, and you keep building that high rise up to 23 minutes. At 23 minutes, integration of the nervous system happens. And we know that it can integrate different perspectives of your nervous system, the negative, the neutral, and the positive. And it can create this greater shift internally that can really keep you there. And there's so much science behind meditation that shows that it's really powerful for being able to create this change in your mind and in your body for wellness and for health. So building up to 23 minutes daily would be a beautiful practice for you. Okay, so here's the five strategies that I like to recommend to people starting out with meditation. Uh, the first two kind of go hand in hand and they're polar opposites. So the first one is called open focus meditation. And it is based on a practice by Les Femi, who's also a neurofeedback practitioner like I am. And what he, he wants people to do, and it's really a powerful tool, is to create an open focus in your meditation. So this is what I recommend that you do. You can start in the room that you're sitting in right now and come out of your head. These are my words. Come out of your head where you're thinking and you're processing, you're in the future trying to create the goals that you're excited about. You might be in the past worrying about things that have happened to you before. Come out of your head and come into the present in the room that you are in. Look at the lamps that are around. Watch the sun coming in the window. Watch the dust particles floating. Do that for three minutes. Open your focus. Come out of your head. This is even more powerful if you go on a walk and you do it in nature. Listen to the birds. See the leaves falling. Feel the wind on your face. Make it a multi-sensory experience out in nature for an added benefit. Okay, open focus. If you do nothing besides that, it will be a game changer in your life. The opposite of that is a closed focus meditation and really i would advise against this if you feel like you are this thinker and goer this meditation is really powerful for people who kind of can't get off the couch and if you struggle with motivation or with depression closing your focus can help so if you spend your time in an open focus mode so if you're laying around and you're watching tv and you're not really engaged in anything Closing your focus and focusing on one object in the room can teach your brain to crank up that speed of focus. 
what we're doing with open focus meditation is bringing your brain out of your head and into the world to calm it down primarily. But if you're too calm and you're depressed, then you need to crank it up to a faster speed so that you can engage it. But the closed focus meditation is really best for people who struggle with motivation or with focus. If that's not you, stay away from it because it really is a smaller percentage of people. Okay, one of my favorite meditations from my dear mentor who I strive to follow in his footsteps, Dr. Wayne Dyer. A meditation that I learned from him is called In the Gap Meditation. And if you find that it's difficult to create empty space in your mind, this is such a powerful meditation. And again, it can be done anywhere. And I encourage you to come up with an affirmation or a mantra, but it's more of an affirmation that makes you feel good and kind of jazzes up your nervous system when you think it. The one that I use that I borrowed or repurposed from Star Wars is, I'm one with the force, the force is with me. That really impacted me. Nobody, and My whole family thinks I'm nuts because I care about it. I have five children and they're all like, uh, you care about that? Yeah. Because when Ray says that, man, does that hit, that hits my nervous system. It makes me want to go run 10 miles. It fires me up, calm and focused and jazzed up. So when I say it to myself, I'm one with the force, the force is with me. You can feel that gap that I created in the middle of my affirmation. I'm one with the force, gap, the force is with me. Even saying it now, it downships my nervous system. I'm one with the force, nothing. There's nothing in that gap. There's not enough time for a thought to enter that gap. Then you can extend the gap. You can make the gap three seconds. Then you can make the gap five seconds and you can challenge yourself to make that gap longer and longer, creating empty space in your mind. I'm one with the force. The force is with me. Create the gap and revel in the gap. The gap is like a hot tub for your brain. It's like a sauna for your brain. When you sit in that gap, it gives you recovery and rest. It helps the medium speed come up in such a gentle way. It's literally a massage for your brain. Revel in that gap. Create the gap and stay there as long as you can. And again, you can use this 3, 13, 23 minutes of gap meditation. Okay, moving along to mantra meditation, which is based on transcendental meditation. The way that this meditation is done is that you use a mantra like "Om." You want to use a positive sound and one that feels good to you. Usually open vowel sounds with a sound like M or something that resonates after it can be the most powerful tones for a mantra. And saying that mantra over and over and over like chanting is a way that transcendental meditation helps you to gently focus on your mantra while emptying your mind. So the goal of all of these meditations, except for the close focused, is to empty the mind and have it rest and recover for a while. And again, using your own and trying different mantras that feel good to you, but sticking with something that feels positive and creates that positive energy, 3, 13, 23 minutes. Okay, the last meditation, which again can be done anywhere um, or especially in nature, is a grounding meditation. This one's totally awesome. Take your shoes off and walk in the grass because we know that the earth resonates at 7.83 hertz. It's called the Schuckman resonance. So 7.83 is that perfectly slow. It's even calmer than focused, but it's really calm speed. When you sink your toes into the earth or the ground, it will create a calming effect and bring your nervous system down, giving it the rest and relief that it needs from a busy day. Try that. Try the grounding meditation. Another way is to sit next to a tree. Trees resonate at even slower resonance than 7.83. If you sit up against a tree and just relax, not thinking, creating open space in your mind, your 
system will start to attune to the tree and the tree will bring it down. Tree huggers knew what they were talking about. Okay, try the grounding meditation. Try one of these five, four meditations really for most people. Open focus meditation, in the gap meditation, mantra meditation, and finally grounding meditation. Go try them, totally, totally awesome. And follow me through because I'm gonna tell you how you can train your brain with technology. I'll see you in the next activity.